What's going on YouTube? Jake here with Venture Visuals and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to get this ghosting slash drifting effect that you see in music videos and creative edits. So I recently discovered this effect last summer when I was editing a music video. So here in my Adobe Premiere Pro timeline we have this clip right here. There's nothing on it. What we're going to do first is just duplicate this clip. So what we want to do now that we've cut out another layer is right click on that layer, hit nest, right click on it again, and hit replace with After Effects composition. So this brings it into Adobe After Effects right here. So the next step is fairly simple. We're gonna go up here to our Roto Brush tool at the top, double click on our layer, and start Roto Brushing her out of the frame. And what this is gonna do is just trace her away from the background so that she's isolated and we can separate her from the background. And this is gonna be what we use to make the clone effect work. So you wanna spend a lot of time cutting out the person or the subject that you're looking to do this effect on because it is important that you have clean edges and the motion is smooth. Okay, so now that we've finished rotoscoping all the way to the last frame, what we're gonna do now is come back into our composition. And as you can see, we've got her traced out of the background. It looks good. So we're gonna hit Command S from here. Now that will save our project directly back into Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we're gonna do now is just hold Option on our keyboard and drag it up to make another layer. So we wanna have this layer on top because it's going to be the cutout of her and we want the trail effect to kind of happen behind her. So in order for that to happen, we need her to be on the very top layer. So what we're gonna do now with this clip right here in the middle, we're gonna come to our effects tab and type in an effect called Echo you'll see it pop up under the time effects right here. We're gonna drag that onto this clip underneath. And as you can see, it's already kind of working. We already have a cutout of her in the background. So a few things we have to change on this echo effect. The first thing being the number of echoes, I want this to be closer to three. So now we can see we have three echoes in the background with a starting intensity of 0.5 and a decay of 0.6. And now you can see we have a nice trail coming out behind her. And then the last thing I like to do is change it from add to composite in front. This makes the blending a little bit smoother around the edges. And there you have it guys. You have this nice echo effect that looks really sick, especially with slow motion footage. Definitely try that out. You can try this with commercial footage. You can try this with anything creative. And let me know down in the comments what types of videos you are currently editing this week. So definitely interested to hear what all of you guys have to say. And if you're a video editor who's interested in adding some sauce and some flavor to their visuals, check out my website, VentureVisuals.com. I got overlays, transitions, and a bunch of other stuff that you can try completely for free. So definitely check that out in the link down below. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to keep my foot on the gas with these tutorials and every new subscriber that I get lets me know that I'm doing something right. So if you'd like to help me build this community, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, I'm Jake Venner. Peace out.